If you're trying to maintain a healthy diet, you may run into problems when you're at work. It can be too easy to drop some change into a vending machine for a sweet snack that's not good for you. There are healthy ways to snack at work. Let's check in with registered dietitian Kayla Irvin Blackstock for what's on the menu. Kayla? Well, February is National Heart Month, so I want to take this opportunity to talk with you a little bit about the good versus the bad fats and share two great recipes that are going to incorporate some of those heart healthy fats. Fats are a natural component of the diet and they have many different functions, but they can be very high in calories, so moderation is ideal. First, we're going to have a tropical homemade muffin. It's best to make sure if you're following a heart healthy diet that you cook from home versus eating out because you can substitute some of those bad fats for the good fats. Um, most of your store bought muffins contain a lot of saturated fat or trans fat. And your trans fat is actually a man made fat that's with partially hydrogenated oil, and very little of it can be harmful to the body. So, to prepare the tropical muffins, you're going to mix up a little bit of all purpose flour, Quaker oats, a little buttermilk, um, mashed bananas, macadamia nuts, coconut, pineapple. It's a great tropical mix. Most of this recipe is mono unsaturated fat. Your mono unsaturated fat is a plant based and it's usually canola oil, olive, palm, or you have some avocados and pecans as well. It has a little bit of saturated fat in it and that's going to come from your coconut. Most of your saturated fat is animal based and a little bit does go a long way because it does give it a little nutty flavor. But we want to limit it. The American Heart Association says to only have about 7% of your calories coming from saturated fat. So if you're on a basic 2,000 calorie diet, that's about 15 grams of fat. The next recipe we have is a flat leaf parsley and walnut pesto that you can pair up with a little bit of grilled salmon, chicken, or whole wheat pasta. The pesto consists of walnuts, flat leaf parsley, lemon, ground black pepper, salt, garlic, and olive oil. The recipe consists of two great healthy fats, your polyunsaturated fat and your monounsaturated fat. Your polyunsaturated fats are your omega-3s and 6s and are usually plant-based or fish-based. So the two polyunsaturated fats used in this recipe are your grilled salmon and your walnuts and then your monounsaturated fat would be your olive oil. Just remember that a well-balanced diet eliminates that trans fat and has very little saturated fat in it as well as incorporates more of those unsaturated fats that are found in your olive and canola oils, your seeds, your fish, and a lot of your plant-based foods. You can find all of these great recipes at WKNO.org or smartmedicine.tv.